practice practice on yourself friends family member or model that you randomly meet and practice how to do makeup in 15 minutes if you never do it before girl don't do it hi everybody welcome back to my channel chanel 767 hope everybody's having a blessed day today today video is my first episode on my series that i created makeup actress advisory and today video how to become a makeup artist now that's a disclaimer this series is everything that i experienced in my 14 years of makeup artistry and i created a series just to share with you and give you tips and advice whenever you're becoming a makeup artist all right so tip number one you need to start um small build your kit from small you can um build your kit with affordable makeup or the high-end makeup don't get me wrong if you can afford the higher end makeup then go for it but my suggestion is start small and start affordable when you build your kit you need to start with palettes have like three different eyeshadow palettes like your neutral your color and your shimmer um, eyeshadow palette or you can have your blush palette your contour palette and your lip palette imagine one eyeshadow palette contains let's say 30 eyeshadow imagine having 30 single eyeshadow in your makeup kit that already is extra load in your makeup kit and it's occupy a lot of space than having 30 single eyeshadow so all that 30 single eyeshadow in one palette is perfect organization for you the quality of makeup don't matter there are makeup that is affordable and work just as good as a higher brand makeup they are higher brand makeup who are expensive and it don't work it's not good it, it don't give a fullest application but they are higher brand um, makeup application which is um, expensive but they do work same as the affordable it don't matter is what works for you and give you the flawless and perfect and long wear application the next point is learning about your product the more you learn about your product the more knowledge that um, you can advise your clients and yourself as well you need to know the different skin type from light to fear to medium dark deep is dark and the skin condition meaning like from oily dry combination and sensitive skin if somebody have oily skin you cannot use oily products on her clients that have oily skin same as a dry skin combination skin you can use either oily or dry for someone who has sensitive skin keep in mind most people who have sensitive skin can have scented products on their face most of the time in the beauty industry forget to cater for people who have sensitive skin so you need to know the skin condition as well also you need to learn um the foundation that's best works for a client if a client asks you what foundation do you recommend for them you can just look at the client and suggest a particular foundation with the brand that you work for or you use keep in mind remember all brand have different types of foundation none of them give the same application so whenever you're recommending or suggesting a foundation for a client always suggest the brand that you used to right, so the next point is practice on yourself friends or family member whenever you're starting on becoming a makeup artist you need to learn how to apply makeup and it starts with you then you move on to your friends and family always have different skin tones whenever you're applying makeup application whenever you're practicing applying makeup application and i always say even if you don't have that support system when it comes to friends and family you can always practice on yourself or stop somebody on the road and say hey i'm trying or learning to become a makeup artist and i would love to have you as a model use different skin tones and practice 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 then the next point take before and after picture when you take before and after picture when you're starting as a makeup artist 
this, you can see a growth. So when it started 2010 and when 2020, you can see the difference in your work. You can see the growth in your work. And also it helps to promote yourself as well. This time in, in this time of year, transformation is what sells. People love transformation and love to see before and after picture so no matter what always take a before and after picture to promote your work and also see the growth in your work point i want to bring across never rush your work um if your makeup application take one hour to do then stick to that one hour if a client come to you and say they want a makeup application in 15 minutes girl you need to say no if you've never done it before girl you need to say no the client respect you more for that than have an upset client leaving your chair 15 minutes later for incomplete makeup application trust me believe me say no and even if you think you can do it I suggest going back to my point that I just say practice practice on yourself friends family member or model that you randomly meet and practice how to do makeup in 15 minutes if you never do it before girl don't do it so the next point I want to um, bring to you is always practice how to sanitize before and after application this not because of COVID honestly because in the service industry girl every single day you have a brand new customer on your chair you need to practice how to sanitize all hard surface area countertops chairs the apron that you put around the clients and including yourself you need to sanitize your press um, palettes with your eyeshadow palettes your blush palettes your contour palettes your um setting your finishing um powder etc with 70 percent alcohol imagine you have let's say a group of 10 girls all want the same look and you have the natural look for them you have to go in that palette 10 times so that's why you need to sanitize your palettes with 70 percent alcohol with the brushes because remember you started small you do not have that much brushes there's a blush cleanser called benign you need to use that brush cleanser basically it's a solution you soak your brush in the solution you wipe it on a clean um, napkin and boom you have a clean brush ready to use again always practice how to sanitize before and after clients there is a place where you can mix your different foundation and concealer back then people used to use their hand now no more you can use a, a metal plate or sometimes people use um, plastic wrap they plastic wrap their hand once they finish with it they remove it and they throw it away so you can use that as well you can also use the powder puff to put on your ring finger and place it on your client's face whenever you're doing an eyeshadow application just to have prevention between skin to skin your skin and the client's skin. the next point I highly recommend is judge your work if you do amazing makeup applications like yes i love it i love it that's the same energy that you bring in towards your audience you love your work your audience love your work you hate your work your audience hates your work same with you love your work your clients love the work and if you hate your work your clients will hate it will hate their work you have to feed off your energy towards your work be your own critic and that's what goes back to my point always take before and after picture and start taking picture of your work then and now so you can see the growth in you and the last point i want to bring is what type of makeup artist do you want to be do you want to be a studio freelance wedding videography that includes tv shows events um you have the music video or you have um movies as well so it depends on what type of makeup artist do you want to be if you want to stay in the studio that means everybody come to you if you want to freelance that means you go wherever the client is you go even you you fly to them as well in a different country some makeup artists only do weddings and honestly freelance cater to a lot of money because imagine you have to pay for your makeup you have to pay a freelance fee and let's say if you're doing a photo shoot that ha take place nine in the morning you start your makeup application at eight which take you an hour 
then if that should include different looks and different scenes, you have to stay from basically 8 o'clock when you started until like maybe 5 in the afternoon whole day with the client. That's another fee. Some makeup artists that freelance um, really do bring in um, money whenever they are freelancing. And then they have the makeup artists who do everything. They go in studio, they freelance, they do wedding, they do events, TV shows, and they do even movie. So the more you do, the better. The less you do, at least you have a niche that you're comfortable with and you push for that niche. Always find your niche. So that is the point that I have to bring. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you looking forward to more episodes on a makeup artist advice with by Chanel 767. Until the next time, my beautiful people, keep it locked.